So you've started up this company, you started in 2004. How did you get the idea to start up an aviation company? Well, it, it was really that I had first and foremost the need uh, for business transportation in, in my company. And I was relatively frustrated from the broker market and uh, out there, you know, basically offering random aircraft. Um, you never knew what would expect you when you got to the airport. You know, it could be a 10 year old plane and you had no clue about the maintenance track record or the pilot trainings and so on and so forth. And, um, and you know, that inconsistency kind of like let me scratch my hat and said, you know, how, how can an industry selling to the most successful entrepreneurs of big companies not have a branded product available on a worldwide basis. Now, I heard that you are the fastest growing private airline company in the world. Uh, tell me a little bit more about that. Is this true? And, and give me some numbers around, around the business. We, we, we are now at 41 aircraft. Uh, we took five airplanes delivery um, in, in, in the last quarter. And uh, yes, the company has consistently been growing 25% per annum. Um, in, and terms even, in terms of revenue? In terms of revenue. And even in, in the 2009 down year, the revenue line grew 16%. You know, we're a Swiss headquartered company. We're audited by ENY. Um, so um, these are very solid numbers which we put in. So if someone wanted to use your services and use your jets, what would the average cost be for a flight or, or give me a flight and, and how much the cost might be? Uh, in rough terms, you would be looking at about um, 9,000 euros per hour on a Challenger 300 and you're looking at about 15,000 euro on a Global Express. I'd like to hear a little bit more about the deal that you just did in the US. Now you can fly from one part of the US to another when before that wasn't possible. Tell me a little bit about this and why you did that move. The US was one big missing piece of the puzzle in the worldwide coverage. I believe VistaJet uh, shall cover the globe with its industry-leading Global 6000 aircraft, silver metallic, red stripe, all over the world. But the US market alone still represents about 50% of any jet flying in the world. Now, as a foreign entity, uh, you need to have your airplane operated by a US operator. So we had um, a great joy to negotiate with Jet Aviation, which is a subsidiary of General Dynamics, great pedigree in aviation in the United States. And uh, we signed up with them to operate our aircraft. So Jet Aviation operating wheels up with Kenny Dichter selling uh, in the United States. We bring the product, we own the airplanes and the consistency of the product now <clears throat> is also available in the US as it is in the rest of the world. 